No, I, I, I can believe that wholeheartedly. I, I, I can. And speaking of Jesus, uh, what is your thoughts on uh, the, 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 the Jesus that I, I, I guess the world has come to know? He, he was painted by Michelangelo, uh, blonde hair, long blonde hair, beard, blue eyes. What's your, what's your thought on, on that imagery? Who that white boy? That white boy, I yes. How how do you how do you read scripture and believe it's real? And you believe in that white boy with blonde hair and blue eyes. When in Revelation it says he got hair like lamb wool, teeth like polished brass, eyes like balls of wire. You do know uh that that white boy name is Caesar uh wait a minute, Caesar damn if I hadn't think Caesar uh not not Romero got no Caesar uh I get I can't think of his last name now because you asked me. But when you do the research you find that this Caesar the white boy with the blonde hair and the blue eyes was the homosexual lover of Michelangelo. Where in the world, where'd you get that from? I read. God damn, Chris. Okay. I read. I research. Read it. Read for yourself. That's what okay. I preach. And y'all son. Read. That's what he said. Read. I'm I'm absolutely gonna have to do some research after that because that is um uh, that's a, that's a, so that's a, when you when you worship that white boy you search you uh, worship an assistant you, you know you know Pastor uh, Thaddeus that that's 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 a little harsh right there no uh, yeah and I'm, and I'm not saying that I don't it's disagree true. with you. it's it's the truth. I'm not saying that I don't disagree with you that that is not how Jesus looked, but to say he was I, 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 I can't think of his last name now because I want to research and you'll find that he was a gay lover of Michelangelo. But when you serve that blonde head, blue-eyed Jesus, you worship an assistant. Okay. Um, I, again, this is that that that's you know I you know as I said this on I was appearing on a national TV show, and I said that uh, I was on Tosh Porno, and. Uh, I said that and shocked them like boys. It shocked them. I said, you want to talk about homosexuality in, in the church? And you bow down and worship a sister. Yeah, I never I never uh heard that one before. I will do my research based on what you but, but yeah. I yeah, I don't even know where to research that at, but I'm going to do a little digging, or maybe me and you can speak. Google. Little... Okay. White folks Man. created Google for us. They took the encyclopedias from us, but we got Google. Let me ask you this. What, what, what is your thoughts on tithing, paying tithes? You know, it, it, it was, um, you know, many, many preachers, and and I'll be very specific. At one point, uh, Creflo Dollar, mm -hmm. he was trying to raise enough money to get something like a $65 million jet uh, with the ties money of his congregation. What, where do you stand on that issue? Well, you, you see that in the New Testament, Jesus doesn't even talk about tithing, does he? He tells, you to, he tells you to give. Okay. 
that Sunday morning, I call it again, bullshit from the pulpit. Will a man wrong? Read the entire book of Malachi. When you read the entire book of Malachi, you'll find out that Malachi was talking to the prophets and telling them to prepare a storehouse for those who are less fortunate. We use it as a gun to rob God's people. I am of the mindset and of the believing that giving, I think that one of the most powerful verses is one that we use and we say is negative. It says, be not deceived, don't be fooled, for God is not mobbed, he don't lie. Whatsoever a man soweth. Then that next word is key. It says, that shall he reap. If you plant money, money grows. If you plant hatred, hatred grows. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he all so weak. Correct. So I'm the mindset of giving and God gives back and God gives back with interest. Some of these things that we have seen pastors do is a hustle, man. It's a hustle. So you, be you believe giving tithing or pastors uh going from the Bible, because it is written in the Bible uh, to pay tithes. Do you believe that that's what, awesome? what, what you say that Jesus came to fulfill the gospel, the fulfill, okay? Jesus uh -huh. is the of giving you, paying no 10%. And, I mean, if that's what you want to give, if you feel as an individual that's your obligation. Do it, brother. Do it. Okay. But, but does it, you know the Bible. Uh, here's why, here's how I've been blessed. I give, brother. And God, in turns, allow me to reap what I sow. I give. And see, I don't believe tithing, even in its nature, or uh, from the church that it obligates you, you to tithe in one place. You made $1,000, you got 10% of 100 folks, and, and, and there is a folk that your $100 can feed, brother. You just tithe. It's all tithing is just giving and God giving back faith Base, brother, on your faith. Okay, so when you say giving, is it giving to the church or is it just giving to St. Jude's or your favorite charity? What, what, when you say giving, what are you talking about? Because be I was always family. taught that it was given to the church. To your, your, your church, brother. It ain't always just, I'm gonna give my hundred dollars this week to the church. But you bypass somebody that's hungry. You bypass somebody that is in need to give your church something. And most folks don't even know where the money goes when the church get it. I like to see a form on what we're doing here at the church. All you just give. All you're going to do is just give. Don't worry about where well, the money goes. Yes, I do. I gave you my hundred dollars. I can't work. I can't. <laughs> I can't ask you where my hundred dollars. What did it go on? You, we done had a building fund fifty years. We ain't got a door knob. We ain't got a nail. We, the roof is leaking. Come on. 
bypass the hustle. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.